What's happening? I'm Chime Time and welcome back to another episode of the Chime Time Restaurant Review. Freaking burgers and freaking sushi is what I got the taste for today. And I found a restaurant in Raleigh, North Carolina that sells both. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, with over 3,500 people reviewing this restaurant, giving them a 4.6 star, this seems like the restaurant to be at. I really think this restaurant review is going to be very, very interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, take a review comes from the Cowfish Burger Bar. Welcome to the show. So for those who've always wondered how a cheeseburger and sushi taste together, I'm about to tell you. I present to you the All-American Bacon Double Cheeseburgushi. That's how it looks right there, man. Presentation is on point, smells really good. It smells just like a freaking cheeseburger, man. The All-American Bacon Double Cheeseburgushi comes up to a whopping $17. And uh, I gotta tell you, man, I am really anxious to try this out. I feel like I gotta try two at a time, though. Mm. Mm. Oh man. That's one of a kind right there. So before I tell you how this sucker tastes, let me tell you the ingredients. We got beef, yellow cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese, applewood bacon, red onion wrapped in rice, soy paper and potato strings, then flash fried topped with the ketchup, mustard, dill, pickle, and roman tomato served on top. Cowfish sauce! Served with fries. Man, let me tell you something right here. This is this is really good. There's a very heavy presence of beef on here and as for the rice and the mustard. Now I cannot quite taste the cheese, which is probably a good thing. But again, not bad. The most important thing is that I can taste the beef and the rice. Not to mention this right here is, uh, this looks like it is definitely fried. So if you guys are a big fan of fried sushi, like myself, you will definitely like the All-American Bacon Double Cheese Burgushi. The only thing I do not like about this, and this is a small thing, is that the outer layer on some of these little sushi rolls right here, it look like it's a little overcooked, man. But hey, you got a great thing going on. All-American Cheeseburger Double Burgushi. Cheeseburg cheeseburger Burgushi. I'm gonna have to give this an eight. Now, the next thing I'm about to try, it is a burger, and it is called the Cowfish Has Officially Left the Building, also known as the Hunka Hunka. Just so y'all can see right there what I'm working with. And as I turn the burger uh, and push it down, you guys can see right here, they actually gave me some rice wrapped up in soy paper, man. It's pretty cool, man. This burger came out to 19 dollars and i'm going to tell you what's on it real quick. We have a half pound patty, creamy peanut butter, fried bananas. Ew and applewood bacon. This is, this shit right here about to be. Bananas on a burger? Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really taste too much. Hmm. Not really feeling it. I don't taste nothing but the bacon. I don't taste the peanut butter, which I see there is some on here. Mm, not enough. I don't taste the bananas. As a matter of fact, I don't see the bananas on here. Oh, what? Well, yes, I do. Just one small piece of banana on here. I asked for medium. This looks like it's well done. And this is just an overall dry burger. I love the concept. I love the idea, but this burger needs uh, a lot more flavor. Yeah, like adding some ketchup, barbecue sauce, sriracha, or even teriyaki sauce to this right here would set this motherfucker off. But adding a bunch of bland ingredients to a burger just wasn't a good idea. But I love the concept. So this burger, man, I'm gonna have to just... Uh, I mean, I'm gonna give it a six. Man, this thing is juicy, though. This next sushi roll right here, man, I gotta tell you, it is a doozy. This right here is called the Gobble Gobble Ushi. As you can see here, man, they even blessed me with some sweet potato strings, man. The Gobble Gobble Ushi came out to $17, and it has roasted turkey, tempura green beans, stuffing. Uh, uh, uh. The nastiest thing God has ever made. Wrapped in soy paper and sweet potato strings and flash fried. Served with gravy and topped with cranberry sauce and tempura green beans. Let me tell you something, guys. For one, I love y'all. I'm trying to tell you right now, there's nobody in the world that hates stuffing more than me. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try this for you guys. This man took Thanksgiving and put it in a goddamn sushi roll. Hmm. 
It isn't that bad. So check it. I really can't taste the stuffing, thank God, but I can taste the cranberry sauce and the turkey. The gravy, I'm be honest with you, isn't that good. It tastes just like water. They could have did a little bit better on the batter that they fried the green beans with, because the green beans are trash too. But let me tell you something. The fact that he put Thanksgiving in a sushi roll, he gets brownie points for that. Because this tastes just like a plate full of Thanksgiving. Hey, for a second, I forgot I was even eating sushi. He put the right amount of turkey in here, and the fact that he added cranberry sauce to the top is really good. Had he not added this cranberry sauce, this wouldn't be as good as it is now. Because that cranberry sauce definitely added that sweet taste. I think the only thing I recommend with this right here is that you got to put more effort into the gravy. Because that gravy just isn't good. It tastes like... And instead of putting the gravy at the bottom, man, if you don't drizzle that gravy on top of this sushi, man, so we can eat that, hell, we don't mind getting dirty, you know what I mean? And also, it looks like some of these were also over fried as well. But overall, this is a really good concept. Got to give them credit. And I'm going to go ahead and give them a seven for this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have bacon coleslaw. Yeah, this, this, this don't look, this doesn't look appealing at all, okay? No, hell no. This right here is is garbage. Where is the salt? Where is the mayo? And where is the motherfucking vinegar? What do you think? Just adding bacon to this will make it okay? No, no. You have to add more to this. This isn't. This is not good. This right here shouldn't even be a side on the menu. You need to slide this off the menu. You, 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 you tried it, okay? You, you, you definitely tried it. You shouldn't be selling this. You should be smacked. You, 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 you should be penalized for this. This is just, this is a disgrace. I'm gonna need you to stick to making sushi and just, and just throw this shit away. Bacon coleslaw, uh, three. All right, y'all know what time it is, man. Let's jump into the experience. First off, it took my food about 29 minutes to come out. Which typically I do like my food in 20 minutes. However, this restaurant was really busy at the time. They did give me a drink for my weight. The waiters and the waitresses in here was just really, really nice. So I had no problem with it. This is a very nice restaurant. And not only is it for adults, it can also be for kids too. They had the Powder Puff Girls over there. They had the Pac-Man sign right here. They even had Minecraft and a bunch of other pictures that kids can look at. So if you come to this restaurant, do not hesitate to bring your youngin. In the middle of this restaurant, they have a big 2200 gallon fish tank. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember the show Tanked. That show actually designed this fish tank specifically for this restaurant. And I gotta tell you, they did a marvelous job. This is also something else that can quickly grab your kid's attention. So again, not hesitate to bring the kiddos here. Now I know this restaurant is called Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar, right? But I did not know that they would actually have a freaking cowfish up in here. I mean, just look at it. It's just, it looks like it's trying to kiss me a little bit. I mean, everybody tries to kiss me, you know what I mean? But this was something else that was pretty cool for people to kind of walk by and see and take pictures of, so I like it. As far as the dislikes, I did not like the takeout area. The takeout area is very small, very congested. You got the trash can right there. You got the boxes right here. And you simply have no freaking leg room. I don't even know why that is even a takeout section. That, it, it shouldn't be a section at all. I think you guys should work on expanding that or just don't have a takeout section at all because there is simply no room for me to even stretch my b Sitting at one of the tables, taking in all the views, and I look up, I see a piece of the ceiling missing. What the hell is going on here? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you guys know, and if you don't know, you might want to fix that. This last thing was me having Roman eyes, so as I was paying for my food, I looked to my left, I see a cup full of freaking noodles, man. I understand y'all get hungry back there. Trust me, I know. I'm a fat nigga. But this should not be in the customer's line of sight. I'm gonna need for y'all to take this and that cup that you had right beside there. Take that shit to the bike, all right? Us as customers, we definitely shouldn't be seeing that. But overall, this restaurant has a 99.0 sanitation score, so I gotta tell you, man, this is a very, very, very clean restaurant. Probably one of the cleanest restaurants that I've ever been to. You guys are doing a great job in that area. I do want to give a special shout out to two employees at this restaurant. Listen, this is girl Rain at this restaurant, right? She was very very nice she gave me an overview on all the pictures of the wall who they were designed by she told me about the fish tank she also bought me out postcards for me to look at while i wait she's just overall a very good person and very informative so miss rain i appreciate you this next shout out goes out to i think his name is mr james james my brother i gotta tell you this man i appreciate just your honesty that's it 
your honesty. You were just really honest about everything, man. And, and that's just what I like, bro. So, hey, I appreciate it. Would I recommend this restaurant? I'm going to tell you right now. If you're looking for something different, if you love sushi, if you love burgers, this restaurant is the place to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this restaurant a would recommend. There's a couple things I do not like about this restaurant. However, for the most part, this restaurant did their thing. They're very successful. And if you're out here in the right North Carolina area, man, you should definitely come out here and try it out. And that wraps up another Chime Time restaurant review. For more vlogs, contests, and recipes, follow your boy on YouTube. And of course, if you want to submit a restaurant for me to review, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. That's for all my fans. I love you guys so much. Thanks for the support. Be blessed. And I'm out of here. Peace.